Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with Blender, Element 3D and After Effects. Let's get started. So friends, welcome back and first one, open Blender. I will make very simple model for export to Element 3D. Let's first select this camera, delete and light delete, select this cube and let's go to edit mode select this face selection and let's select this face click move tool and move to up okay so in this time let's go to here and go to insert let's click here and let's insert like this okay then go to extrude let's click extrude region click this icon for see x-ray and let's extrude like this Okay, not bad. So click again this icon and click move tool back to object mode. So that's all. Let's go to file and export and v front obj. And let's add the name deep that obj. Let's click export. Okay, that's all. Let's switch to After Effects. Okay, so let's select this footage and move to inside here for create new composition. For example, I will use this video footage from my phone. Okay, let's close audio and select this footage, go to FX Presets, search FX Camera Tracking and let's use 3D Camera Tracking for Scene Track. Let's select and use for footage. Waiting for analysis in background. Also, we can see here frame rates. Okay, solving camera, waiting for finish. Okay, that's all. So, let's see. Okay, right now we can select here points for tracking. Let's go to here and select these three points. And right mouse, let's create solid and camera. Okay, let's see. Let's see tracking quality. Okay, not bad. So in this time, let's create new solid layer for Element 3D. Right mouse, new and solid layer. Add the name Element 3D. Click OK. Go to Effects, Video Coupled and Element. And go to Scene Setup. And go to click Import. Select this deep model. Click Open. Don't change any settings. Click OK. And click Normalize Size. Okay, and let's go to create. Let's create new plane and change scale plane like this. Click move tool and move to left. Again, control D for duplicate, move to right. I want to four planes for shadow map. Let's control D again, move to center and move to right. Again, control D, move to left. Okay. So in this time, go to presets and open physical. Let's use matte shadow for this plane and this for all planes. Nice. And select this deep. Let's see. Okay. So let's move it down like this. Okay, looks good. And let's go to click OK. So in this time, select this solid layer, press P, select this all position coordinates, Ctrl C, and hide layer, select this element 3D, go to open group 1, and let's create new new object. Select this group, let's press P, select this here, Ctrl V for page cardinals and let's press R change rotation like this and change a little bit let's see nice so in this time select this group and press S change scale and move to here 
change scale again. Let's see. Okay, it looks good. Let's see. Okay, nice raging. So right now, let's add ambient occlusion. Let's select this element 3D, go to render settings and ambient occlusion here. Let's enable checkbox, change intensity 10 and change gamma like this. Okay, and let's use color here. Change a little bit like this. Okay, let's see. So we have one problem here, but we can fix this. Let's go to here and select work area. Right mouse and trim come to work area. Let's see. Okay. Also, we have two ways for fix this problem. First way, crop timeline. And next way, select this footage and go to FX presets. Search effect warp stabilizer for smooth video movements. Okay, so let's click X and let's select this element 3D. Go to scene setup. Let's add texture and background color image. Let's open wood and let's use this texture let's go to here enable show ambient occlusion and select this deep model go to texture and change here box okay also let's try box repeat or let's use box repeat here okay not bad so let's click environment checkbox and go to environment backlight and let's try use this backlight click ok ok not bad let's open here physical environment and let's play with settings Okay, looks good. And let's select work area for easy render. Okay. And select this element 3D. Again, go to here. Let's use this color. And like this. Okay, and let's go to FX presets. Search effect Lumetri color. Select this little metal, let's use for element 3D layer and open basic correction. We can play settings for better result. Okay, let's change contrast minus 70. Okay, this is more realistic. And let's try change some settings let's change whites and blacks okay nice and let's go to element 3d again open here lighting and let's try other lights for example let's use cinematic light or product or natural Okay, let's use single light. So back to again, Lumetri color. Let's open here and sharpen. Let's change like this. Okay, and open ambient occlusion. Let's change shadow like this click OK and change gamma ok not bad so we can add some elements inside this deep let's go to scene setup and let's open starter pack and let's try add here for example grass 
in change scale and move to down let's click OK OK looks good and let's change some scales or let's change scale like this OK and let's add here this lamp change again scale or let's delete this lamp and let's add here rock okay let's move to right add this rock change scale of the inside like this and let's control D change rotation okay and finally let's add this clock change scale again and change rotation and move it down okay let's click OK okay nice so we can change here lumetri colors like this and experts okay very nice so friends, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.